In this video, I'm going to explain to you what materials you should be studying for when taking your PMP exam in 2022. My name is Andrew Ramdiel, and I am the author of this book, The PMP Exam Prep Simplified, which is an Amazon bestseller for the current PMP exam. So let's get started on materials that you should be studying for. Okay, so there's going to be three main books from PMI themselves uh, that's going to make up most of the exam questions. And we'll start out with the one that most people seems to be asking me in the last couple of weeks, and even today I got a bunch of questions, was PMBOK Guide 7th Edition. So here's a heads up. PMBOK Guide 7th Edition and the contents within it, particularly all these principles and domains and so on, in the PMBOK Guide 7th Edition was recently added to the PMP exam book reference list. Now, this, uh, I don't, we don't anticipate any kind of questions coming from this book until maybe about February, March of this year, starting February, March or so, maybe even up to April, because on the PMI website, it just says it takes many months in order to get questions from this study guide. So here's book number one, PEMBA Guide 7th Edition. Now keep in mind, this book is not very large. The other one I have here is the PEMBA Guide 6th Edition. Now this contain all your 49 processes and your process groups that's going to cover all of your traditional project management and we do have some few agile concepts in here. So one, so once again guys, you know, so many people ask me this, PEMBA Guide 7th Edition does not, for the one thousand time that people have asked me this question PEMBA guide 7th edition does not listen to me carefully does not does not negate seven the sixth edition the sixth edition is just as valid as the PEMBA guide 7th edition one of the things that you guys got to understand about the PEMBA guide 6th uh, 7th edition is that it does not really go into the steps needed to manage a project if you're managing a traditional project you're not going to find that data in this book if you're looking Okay, Andrew, I'm doing a traditional project. What are the steps or what are the processes I should be following? That's not here. This is the principles of managing a project. What's in this book is basically things that you should be doing on any project, whether it's traditional, it's hybrid, it's, it's, or it's agile. That's what this book contains. This book here is like the umbrella book to the ad to the Pemba Guide Sixth Edition and the and the Agile Practice Guide. So that brings me to your third book. So we got this book. We got the PMBOK 6th edition, and the third book is the Agile Practice Guide. Now, if, you t if you've been attending my live streams recently, or you've been watching it, you notice that a ton of students have been having questions uh, on Agile. More than 50% of the exam questions, it seems, comes from Agile. So please, know your Agile concepts inside out. Know your Agile processes, know your ceremonies, know all their tools and their little uh charts and so on that they use in agile so make sure you know that very well so those are going to be your three main books from pmi you got your PMBOK guide seventh edition sixth edition and the agile practice guide now i must say and i've been teaching pmp since 2007 and uh, so quite a long time to tens of thousands of students around the world you guys see my e-learning course and my best-selling study guide and um i must say this is the largest knowledge base that I've ever seen now but the exam is more realistic the exam is very situational so I believe that it's a much easier test than it ever was instead of just being something very specific so you're saying hey Andrew that's a lot of stuff to study hey we got this you know 800 page book we got this 300 page book we got another 100 or so pages on the edge hey Andrew that's a lot of materials to study well listen guys you don't need to go and read all of these books uh what you could do is you could let me read it for you let me condense it. Let me, quote unquote, simplify it. And you could just get my study guide. So my study guide, of course, is going to summarize all the, all the contents you will need across all three books. Now, right now it's January and I have not updated this book. But if you're watching this video and it's probably March or April, this book is probably going to already be updated as I will add more content to cover the domains, cover the principles that are coming out of the PEMBA Guide 7th edition added into this book. And of course, all my e-learning content and our live classes, which is already updated, our live classes will contain all the contents of the PEMBA Guide 7th edition. So to summarize, guys, you don't necessarily need to go and read all these PMI books. You can just go through my materials, and I think you're going to be just fine passing your exam. 
the mindset will stay the same. Remember, the mindset that I created to help you pass your exam, which seems to be helping tens of thousands of people pass, that you can get out of my book, you can get out of the e-learning materials, you can get out of my um, my live class. The, the mindset comes from the exam objectives. The exam objectives is not changing in 2022. The only thing that's changing in 2022 is the addition of PEMBOK Guide 7th Edition questions, which shouldn't be too much. And since PEMBOK Guide 7th Edition is just such a common sense project management book, I don't anticipate hard questions. I don't anticipate complexities added to the test. I think the exam is going to basically stay the same complexity. I think a lot of people took the PMP exam in 2021. A lot of people were successful with it. Whether maybe the exam was easier or maybe my materials was just great and just helped a lot of people or maybe it was both. Uh, we're not too sure on that, but we know the exam. A lot of people took a lot of people. I think PMI wants to keep that up. The more people that knows project management, the more people we have certified, the better for the industry, the more people know what they're doing when managing a project. Okay, so this was just a quick video on what you should be studying for when taking your PMP in 20, here in 2022. Once again, before, before I end it, PEMBOK Guide 7th Edition, maybe start in April, February, April, March. Uh, study your PEMBOK Guide 6th Edition. Make sure you know your processes. You will probably still get questions on some of these processes. Don't worry too much about the ITTOs in here. Know your processes, though. Uh, make sure you know your Agile ceremonies, charts, tools, and so on really well. Uh, you can re re review those three books. If not, you can just go through my, my study guide which will be updated soon to match all your exam objectives. And I think you're on your way to ASIN, your PMP exam here in 2022.